what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I've just got in from work. My brother just rang me about half an hour ago and he says, you need to get home from work. Um, he's gonna be picking up some massive koi carp from Hemel Hempstead, which is like a 20 minute drive from me. So I've had to rush off. I've got the job done, obviously. Rushed off, um, come back. I've just picked up my big boxes, which we use on the, uh, the Arowanas when we pick them up. So I'm just in the process of getting all the little bits together some stuff for the fish uh, to keep him nice and safe in the uh, in the box and stuff and he's actually picked up a big tub as well and I'm hoping he's picked up the big net from my old man's we go, when we go fly fishing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump in the van with the boxes, get to his house, pick him up. My other brother's coming as well but apparently there's a fish there which is 640 millimetres so it's a big old boy, big fish. So um, let's go over there and see what the geezer's pond's like. So just on the way to get the fish now. How long is it, Ollie, to get there? Uh, about, speak about, ten, up, man. about ten minutes, man. About ten minutes. About ten minutes, man. This is the guy, man. This is the guy with the fish. That's him. That's me, man. That's the geezer who is always miserable in the videos. No, I'm happy. We're going to get some new fish today, so it's going to be good. Yeah, it's about nine, nine fish in total, but. They're really big fish, about 56 centimetres, I'd say, some of them. But yeah, we'll see when we get there, really. I can't, I can't remember the geezer's name who commented last time saying, who is that bloke in the background? He's so miserable. <laughs> man, you're cracking me up, man. So, but anyway, we're on there now. We're nearly there, so how long? It's about 10 minutes, isn't it? About 10 minutes, yeah, we'll be there. There's three of us in the van as well, zooming on his head. The other brother's in the van as well, so... Yeah, it won't be long. Keep you posted. Just on the way back, we just picked up five of the fish. There's nine of them all together. I didn't realise how big they were. I didn't even have a look at the photos. I, I was too busy to look at the video yeah. he sent me earlier. So we've got five in the van. One of them's hurt itself a little bit. It's got, um, well, you know, it's like when you put a drop of blood in water, it dilutes it and just makes it look 10 times worse. So, fingers crossed, that one's gonna be all right. It's a big fish, they're all big fish. It's all about 60 cm. Yeah, so some of, them are, some of them are really big. And there's a massive white one we've got to go back in about an hour after it's this. It's even bigger. Yeah, and it's absolutely huge. So, yeah, fingers crossed that one's gonna be okay. It's not a lot we can really do. I've put a stress coat in the water and everything. So, um, yeah, it's only a 20 minute drive as well, which is making it even better for us. But uh, let's get back and see what the, uh, the fish are like. The pond, the pond was very deep. Like, literally, it's probably, probably tall as us. Yeah, we were gonna film it, but um, the guy was there with his family and um, they're quite sent sentimental fish and the, uh, his young girl was crying and she didn't really, really she didn't want to get rid of them so she's sort of grown up with them but the guy's obviously moving house so um, yeah I couldn't really put a camera in their face so we, uh, we left it at that so but I'll show you the fish when we get back anyway keep you posted just got back uh, it's the fish in here this water's literally just happened now going over that bump out the front there so yeah pretty annoying I'll sweep it out in a second anyway at least it's a warm day but this is the one that's hurt itself. You can see blood in there. Oh, that one at the back, actually. No, that, one, that, that one's fine. No, it's this one. So the one at the back, it's completely fine. Look, the water's really bloody, though. But obviously, if you're going to put a tiny drop of blood in water, it will dilute and go all crazy like that. But there's some stunning fish in here, and there's a real big old boy in there. But I'm, we're in pretty much of a rush because we've got to get back and pick the others up. So let's pop the camera down, get these fish over there, and then get them in the pond. We get it all by the pond, don't we? Fine, yeah, we'll like that. Got any other nets here? Right. Yeah. That one's lovely. It's stunning, yeah, for this one. Look at the colours on it, man. Blokes, it's a dummy, man. It's thick as full dummy. This is, the, uh, is the one that inches itself. This is the injured one, but it looks fine. Nice scales. Then should we get the beast out? Yeah, it's still the big boy. The beast is in the black box. Yeah, you ready? Oh, okay, okay, we can all tip the water, mate. Right? Sure? You alright? Oh, man, this is it's big. It's beautiful. 
You've seen bigger though, haven't you? I've seen bigger. They need a bigger net. They need a bigger, bigger boat. They're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first one I'm going to do is this one here because obviously this is the most stressed one. Can I have a look? That's what it looks like. So it's not too much blood, really. No. But um, this is the net. Just give me. <laughs> we left a big net there, so. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Right, we've just got these five in, now we're going to go back and get the other ones in. But there's, see this one at the back, see how big it is at the back there? There's one that is probably another, I don't know, 20 centimetres bigger than that one, it's massive. So, yeah, it's going to be fun getting them out. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. It's
Welcome back to the video everyone, it's the morning after. Now the fish has settled in really well. We're gonna do a feed um, in about a couple of minutes. We've just done a water change in this tank as well. What do we do, 10%, 20%? 20% we've done. done. 20%, we checked the ammonia last night as well. It's all good. All right, we've done an ammonia test, so that's all fine. And done ammonia test this morning after the water change, so it's good. So um, we'll just need to keep a top of that, obviously, because he's thrown so many big fish in this pond now. But um, the filter he's got in there will um, be able to handle all these fish. But yeah, it just looks mad. So yeah, this is the first feed. So we're using the Hakari stuff we've got here. Do you want to do it? You're going to do it. We get to the trunk, eh? Oh, go on then. Let's just chuck some in. Let's see what happens. So I'm trying to do it by hand, man. And another good thing as well, the fish yesterday that hurt itself, the one that had blood in the pond, in the, uh, the tub is sound, he's down there, he's doing absolutely fine, he's actually eating. <clears throat> so he must have just bumped his head a little bit. So that's the one there that hurt itself yesterday. So he's doing absolutely fine. But there's no, there's no sign of like injury or anything like that. It must have just bumped itself. Which one? Uh, not that one. This one here. That's the one that was bleeding yesterday. That's the biggest one, then. Yeah, this is the massive one. This one here. That one is so fat. What, the orange and... The one that had injured itself. It's so tubby. That was lovely. And that black one at the back there, you can just see, see the black one that's just, just swimming off, it's with the, see that one there coming towards us now with a white belly underneath, it took us over an hour to get that fish yesterday, because if you can imagine, looking down at that now, you can't even see it, can you? Because he, the guy who we're getting it from had a black dirty pond and you couldn't really see him, so obviously the white's underneath, so you never get to see the bottom of the fish, you only see, see like a couple little white bits here and there, so it took us over an hour, it was a nightmare. But all the rest, we got them out within a couple of minutes. But if you're ever um, transporting big fish, these tubs here I've got from Amazon, these are really good, 66 litre tubs. These are sound, that's what I put all like the big fish in, not the massive fish, we put the massive fish in this tub here, which is from, I think or something like that. But if you've got like, these are perfect for marijuanas as well, so that's what I use, they're really good for that. But yeah, what does everyone you think of the pond now? This one's tank. Tank, the boss. Um, this, this is the bloke here, yeah, look he's chatting now, he's actually talking so, <laughs> this is like jumps out of water, it's right? a bit rare sighting this is. <laughs> so we get, a, get a new net made up, well, going to find the temporary net, crap, but we'll get a new net made up for it. That's just the dogs, messing about in the background. But yeah, we need to get that net on there as soon as possible, Ollie. That one you've got, and then, uh, like you say, you're going to put <laughs> a decent one on it, yeah. <gasps> Careful, the boy, <laughs> <laughs> He's there, look. Right, so that's the update from the pond now. What do you reckon on the stock? Do you reckon it's overstocked? Do you reckon it's understocked? We reckon it's a little bit overstocked. We're going to be doing some crazy tank maintenance on this, like we do with all our tanks. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. As always, like and subscribe to the channel. Real. Thing you know,